Hi again, welcome to Library Yoga. Uh, if you haven't practiced with me before, my name is Chelsea and I'm both a librarian here at Brock and a yoga instructor. Today we have a bit of an unconventional study break that will encourage us to maybe loosen up a little bit, stretch ourselves out a little bit, and hopefully combat some of the uh, common aches and pains that we can experience when we're working at our computers for extended periods of time. This is when we're studying, we have virtual meetings, hopefully this will be a nice refresher. There are no special props that are really required today. Uh, you can practice many of these postures from a chair or in proximity to a chair, so you can see I'm practicing from my office. Um, if you don't have a chair handy, maybe if you have a wall or another piece of furniture, we do have one stretch where we're kind of leaning on a chair a little bit. So uh, if you have access to that, that might be handy. Uh, and without further ado, we can get into our session. So uh, you're welcome to start wherever you would like. This can be seated in a chair, maybe on the floor, even standing if that feels better to you. And we'll just take a moment to take our shoulders back and really lift up through the spine, lifting up through the crown of the head to settle ourselves and check in before we get started. So you're welcome to soften your gaze, maybe close your eyes if it would feel good. And just take a moment to notice how your body settles in whatever posture you've taken. Notice if there are any areas of gripping, of tension or tightness. Notice if there are any areas you can soften, any small movements you can make to get a little more comfortable now that we're paying attention. And then from the body, bring your attention to your breath. Notice how it feels, maybe where you're feeling it the most. Perhaps moving in and out through the nose, maybe moving the belly or the chest. And just observe the quality of that breath, if it's deep, if it's shallow, fast or slow. And as you begin to focus on the breath, notice if your mind starts to wander. It's totally natural, happens all the time. Just notice where it wanders off to. Maybe your to-do list, your meeting later this afternoon. Notice if there are any strong feelings attached to any of these places that your mind may wander off to. And acknowledging all of this, gently bring your focus back to the breath. We'll take three nice deep breaths in together. We'll breathe in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Very relaxing, stress relieving. Very, very easy. We'll take a nice deep breath in. Fill the belly, feel it expand, feel the chest expand until you can't possibly add any more breath. And then with a big long sigh, we let it all go, feel the body soften through the process. Two more times, inhale, fill the belly, the chest, all the way up to the tippy top, and sigh it out. And one more time, nice deep breath in, the deepest breath you've taken all day. And sigh it out. And then slowly, we'll start to blink the eyes open if they were closed. And softening the gaze, softening maybe the expression on the face, we'll start to get moving a little. And today, a lot of our focus will be on softening and opening, especially through the upper body. When we spend a lot of time on our computers, we can kind of default into this hunched, a uh, very closed kind of state. So we're really going to open up through the chest, the upper back, uh, and hopefully this will be refreshing as we move through the rest of the day. But we're going to start up at the top with the neck. 
So we'll start just by, again, sitting up or standing up nice and tall, dropping the left ear towards the left shoulder, not forcing it down, just gently tipping that ear over. Take a nice deep breath in here, and maybe sigh it out once more. If you'd like a little more sensation, you can extend your right arm out to the right. It doesn't need to be totally at shoulder height. It's wherever feels most comfortable to you. You may start to feel a bit more sensation very quickly by extending your arm. And continue to breathe in a soft, steady way. If you'd like even more sensation, perhaps down through the arm, the forearm, you can start to flip your palm up. So your fingers start to reach back towards your arm. And this, I can tell you, I feel this so much. This is a very intense stretch, it can be, so feel free to ease off at any time. A lot of these muscles I find feel extra tight sometimes, again, from computer time. Take one more inhale and exhale. We'll gently release it all down and maybe pause back at center, bringing the head back to center. Maybe notice, I find doing that stretch, it actually, it makes me warmer. I feel the heat generating in the body already. Notice any other sensations you might be feeling and then gently we'll drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. So again, we're not forcing it here, we're just gently allowing it to drop towards the side. Maybe take a nice deep breath in and sigh it out, inviting the body to soften. Maybe extending that left arm out to the left, starting to invite a little more sensation through the top of the arm, the shoulder, the neck. Again, maybe we start to flip that palm reaching the fingers back. Continue to breathe nice and steady, nice and smooth. And even through the sensation, inviting that softness. We'll take one more deep breath in and exhale. We'll release. Pause for one more moment here, just observing how the body feels. And then we'll start to take some nice big circles with the arms. So we'll start by reaching the arms out to the sides, circling them all the way up towards the ceiling, and exhale, we circle them down. And again, we circle them around, maybe inhale as we reach on up. Maybe taking the gaze up and exhale, we take it down. So we're not doing anything very quick today. We're really taking our time, feeling nice and luxurious in this stretch. One more circle. And the next time you come to the bottom, we'll go ahead and switch directions. Inhaling as we come up and exhaling ooh, as we circle down. Notice if it feels a little different from one direction to the other. Inviting a sense of fluidity to the movement. Take one more. We'll go ahead, circle the arms down, and we'll actually take them up one more time. Really lift up out of the waist, and then we'll go ahead and drop the left hand either to your seat or the floor, or maybe your, your hip or the side of your leg. We're gonna come into a side stretch, reaching that right arm up and over, opening up through the chest, really lengthening out through those right fingertips. And notice if you're seated, if you can try to anchor your weight through both hips so you're not just rocking to one side. And if you're standing, notice sort of the difference in the weight in your feet and try to even it out between the two. We'll take one more nice deep breath in here. And as we exhale, we come on up and we're gonna twist. So we'll take that right hand towards the left leg, bringing the left fingertips behind you on your seat or on the floor. And if you're standing, you can always circle your left hand behind you to your lower back as you engage your core, bringing your right hand towards your left hip. Really lengthening through the spine, taking the gaze back towards that left shoulder. 
We'll take one more deep breath in and exhale, return to center. With a nice big inhale, we circle the arms up one last time. And then exhale, we're gonna side bend in the opposite direction. So we bring that right hand down either to our seat, the floor, maybe the hip or the leg, and arc over towards the side, lengthening through those left fingertips and rooting down evenly through the hips or the feet. Again, notice if it feels different from one side to the other. I'm definitely feeling it a lot more on this side today. And we'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we come on up and we move into our twist, taking the hand to the opposite leg and bringing the right fingertips either behind us on our seat or on the floor or perhaps to the lower back if we're standing. Really lifting up through the spine, leading with the chest, and taking a gaze back. Continuing to breathe, even through the effort. There's a fair bit of core engagement here, trying to find that softness in the breath. We'll take one more deep breath in, and exhale, we'll unwind, coming back to center. So we're gonna come into some modified cat cows here. So I'll show you a few options. If you're seated like me in a chair, you can bring your hands to your thighs or your knees. With an inhale, you'll take the chest forwards, take the gaze up, and exhale, round it back. If you're familiar with cat and cow in a yoga class, you might do this from a tabletop position, and you're welcome to do that as well. And if you're standing, you can always take your hands to your hips and very firmly anchored in your feet, inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, round through your spine. Maybe you even want your hands resting on your legs as you do this too. Really, there are infinite variations. We really just want that flexion and extension of the spine, however feels best to you today, whatever your situation is today. I'm here in my office, so working from my chair works pretty well. Wherever you are, continue to breathe. Inhale, as you open up the chest, take the gaze up, and exhale, as you round it back and try to slow down the process today. Really getting nice and fluid and soft. Really taking the time to appreciate and take care of your body through some of these movements today. This is Valentine's Day week. We can show ourselves a little self-love through all of this. Wherever you are, we'll take one more of each. Inhaling, opening up, and exhaling, rounding back. And then we'll make our way to a nice neutral position, standing or seated, wherever you are. And the next posture we'll do is a camel pose variation. So again, I'll offer some variations here. If you're seated in a chair, we're gonna start by taking the shoulders back, really thinking about squeezing the shoulder blades together. In a chair or even seated on the floor, if you're seated on your heels, this might work fairly well. You can take your fingertips behind you, taking your shoulders back, you just start to lift your chest up as you squeeze your shoulder blades together here. So we're really engaging the upper back and opening through the chest. If you're standing, you're welcome to take your hands to your lower back. You might want your fingers pointing out to the side. Maybe you want your fingers pointing down, whatever feels best to you. And you really want to, again, take your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then just gently lift your chest. So it's a little bit more of an upper back bend than a full back bend. We don't need to go all the way into the lower back. And if you're an experienced yoga practitioner, if you're familiar with camel pose, it's in your practice, you're welcome to practice uh, the more traditional variation as well. But wherever you are, take a nice few deep breaths as we open the chest and engage the upper back. Those muscles between the shoulder blades are the ones that can often get a little weak and tight when we're sort of hunching over our computers, our books. This is a very, very great counterpose, one of my favorites. 
We'll take one more nice deep breath in here. Feel the chest expand and exhale, we'll release, soften. Take a moment to pause, maybe it would feel good to roll the shoulders a little bit. And maybe just observe, I don't know about you, but across my whole chest it's starting to feel way more open than it was before. From here, we'll just balance things out a little bit with a forward fold. So seated on the floor, you can extend your legs out in front of you, maybe having a gentle bend in your knees. If you're standing, you can fold forwards into a bit of a rag doll, nice and soft again, keeping that bend through the knees. And seated, we'll extend our legs out in front of us just a little bit, exercising a bit of caution if you're in a rolly chair like me. And then gently just drape your body forwards, over your legs, Inviting everything to soften and let go. So we're really looking for this stretch to soften into the back, relaxing the shoulders, the neck, and the head. It shouldn't be about really straining the hamstrings, so we don't need to go all in with totally straight legs here. Take two more nice deep breaths in. Maybe sighing it out if it would feel good. Feeling the back ribs expand on the inhale and sink down on that exhale. And as you complete your final exhale, start to roll our way up. And we're all gonna make our way to standing. If you would prefer seated postures, I can show you some variations, but I'll be practicing the next few positions from standing. I'm keeping my chair handy nearby. Uh, I do plan to use it for a couple of stretches, but you are welcome to improvise with perhaps a desk, a wall, any other piece of furniture around you, or um, perhaps even downward dog will be a good variation for you. So I'll move us forwards. Uh, if you're practicing with a chair or a piece of furniture, I'll ask that you face that piece of furniture. We'll start by standing up nice and tall, taking the shoulders back, reaching the fingertips down towards the floor for our mountain pose. With an inhale, we circle the arms all the way up like we have been. And then exhale, we're gonna take our hands to the surface of our piece of furniture or maybe the wall if we have a wall. And we're gonna to start to walk our feet back so that we can extend our spine nice and long. As you press your hands into the piece of furniture, you'll find you can get a little bit of traction and you can lengthen your spine quite a bit. This is a very similar action to what you see in downward dog. So if you're practicing with a mat, you don't have furniture around you, you're welcome to practice downward dog. We'll take a nice deep breath in here. And then on the exhale, we're going to make our way into a forward fold. So from downward dog, you can maybe walk your hands back towards your feet or vice versa. And if your hands are on a piece of furniture, you can go ahead and gently continue the journey down towards the floor, keeping a nice gentle bend in your knees. And then maybe start to pedal out your knees a little bit, straightening one leg and then the other. And as you do this, I'll offer the seated variation of this posture is essentially if you're seated in a chair, perhaps close to a desk, you can simply rest your hands on your desk and extend your seat back behind you. Now from our forward fold, we'll pause with the legs for a moment, getting that nice start of a hamstring stretch going on. And then gently we'll roll ourselves up, extending our arms out to the sides to circle them all the way back up towards the ceiling. Now from here, we're gonna draw the elbows down, bending the arms, and think again about bringing your shoulder blades back towards each other. So we're really opening up through the chest here as we draw the elbows down. Take a nice deep breath in as we open up through the chest, and exhale, we release. Wonderful. We're gonna do this one more time. With an inhale, we're gonna reach our arms all the way up, and then exhale, we bring our hands to our piece of furniture, our wall, or we prepare for downward dog. And we step our feet back so we can extend our spine nice and long. If you're standing with a chair or a piece of furniture, I invite you to experiment with crossing one ankle in front of the other. 
You can start to get a deeper stretch through the back of the leg. Continue to breathe and maybe switch across the other ankle in front. This is also a great stretch. Maybe if you're waiting for something in the microwave, you have a minute to spare, you can use the kitchen counter. We'll take one more deep breath in, we'll uncross the ankles. And then once again, we'll slowly continue our journey down into a forward fold. This time, you're welcome to hold on to opposite elbows. Ragdoll forwards here, sway a little from one side to the other. And then coming back to center, we'll release the hands. And slowly again, we reach the arms out as we make our way up, reaching the arms all the way up. And then drawing the elbows down, we open up through the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Take a nice inhale, feel the chest expand. And exhale, we release. Nice. I have one more uh, great stretch for the chest, the shoulders, the upper back. This can be done, again, seated or standing. I'll practice it standing. And we'll start by clasping the hands behind the back. This can be a loose clasp or a tight clasp. And I will offer a variation um, if any of this feels tricky. If you have maybe a scarf, a towel, a sweater, um, any piece of fabric, you can have your hands wider as well. But we'll start here by rolling the shoulders back. And again, we want that same action of squeezing the shoulder blades together. And we'll start here, you can take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. We'll start by reaching those hands away from us. And they might not come very far. This is very individual. It looks very different for different people. So don't worry if you don't look like I do on the screen. Really open up through the chest here. And then your option is to stay for a couple more breaths or start to fold forwards here. You can bend your knees if you like and reach your hands up and away as you fold forwards. And now again, your arms may not move nearly as much as mine do, and that's totally okay. If you're feeling a little stuck, if you grab that piece of fabric or maybe a, a yoga strap if you have one, I have a scarf here. If you hold it uh, a little bit wider than you would probably clasp your hands, you might start to see a little more mobility through your arms here. It's a great alternative. Wherever you are, we'll take one more breath. And then as you exhale, bring your hands back to your lower back. We're not lifting just yet. We'll take the left hand down to the ground and just twist that right arm up towards the sky. Just for one breath, take a nice breath in. And then exhale, we'll switch, bringing that right hand down to center, that left arm up towards the sky. Deep breath in. And exhale, we switch, bringing it down and rolling our way all the way back up to standing. And now as we close today's practice, I'll invite you to take a seat either in a chair or on the floor, whatever suits you today. We'll take a quick moment to stretch out just a tiny bit more in the upper back and the arms, but also a little bit into the hips because this gets really tight when we're seated at our desks for long periods of time. So. Uh, I have a couple of options for you. If you're practicing in a chair, I'll suggest you cross your right ankle across the top of your left leg. If you're seated on the floor, I'll suggest refraining from coming into this position just yet. We'll start by reaching the left arm up towards the sky and bending that left elbow will bring the right hand to guide that elbow back just a little bit so we're getting a really good tricep stretch, maybe getting into the shoulder, the upper back. Again, trying to keep the chest lifted. If you're seated in a chair, try to keep your right foot flexed. We're just allowing the lower body to settle in this figure four shape before we come into the full stretch, and we'll be doing that momentarily. We'll take one more deep breath in, and exhale, release the arms. 
And if you're seated in a chair, your leg will already be where it needs to be. If you're seated on the floor, you can have your knees bent in front of you and crossing your right ankle over your left knee, you can start to shuffle your left foot in a little bit so that you start to get that figure four sensation, maybe leaning back on your hands a little bit to keep the chest open as you slide your legs in towards you. If you're seated in a chair, we've allowed our body to settle in this shape. Maybe you'd like to fold forwards a little bit here, hinging from the hips. And of course, if you would rather practice this position from uh, a reclined position, you're welcome to do this lying on your back as well. We're not here for very long, so the transition may be perhaps a little less relaxed if you're moving from reclined, but you're welcome to practice however you like. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we'll come on out of this shape. And we'll go ahead and we'll do that on the other side. So again, if you're seated in a chair, we'll go ahead and cross the left ankle across the top of the right leg, allow the lower body to just kind of settle in this posture. If you're seated on the floor, I'd recommend not doing anything with the legs just yet because you may need your hands to support you there and we really want to stretch the other arm. So with an inhale, we'll take that right arm up to the sky, bend that elbow and gently guide it. So maybe the right hand comes a little bit farther down the upper back. Breathe here. Notice where you feel the sensation and invite it to soften. Try to keep the breath easy, even through the effort. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we'll release the arms, and we'll make our way into our figure four stretch. So if you're seated in a chair, perhaps you wanna start leaning forwards, excuse me, lean forwards here. If you're seated on the floor, perhaps crossing your left ankle across the top of your right thigh, and then sliding that right foot in to pull your legs a little bit closer in towards you, or practicing this from a reclined position. Breathing down into the area where you're feeling the most resistance, the most tension, imagining that your breath can invite everything to soften and relax. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we'll come on out, we'll uncross the legs. You're welcome to take any final stretches that would feel really good to you here. Maybe a few shoulder rolls, maybe a few more cat cows. That's definitely what my body is craving today. And then wherever you are, We'll take a moment just to check in. This can be seated in a chair, seated on the floor, maybe even a very short little shavasana. You're welcome if you are familiar with the traditional resting pose in many yoga classes. And we'll take a moment to soften the gaze, maybe close the eyes. And take a moment to check in. Noticing how the body is feeling. If there are any areas of tension, tightness, or gripping, any sensations you feel as the body settles into stillness, notice the breath, where you feel it the most and how it's moving, if it's fast, slow, deep, or shallow. And observe how the mind is moving. If there are any dominant thoughts, strong feelings, 
Just notice how you feel as a whole, your body, your breath, and your mind. Now that you've taken a few moments for yourself. We'll take one nice deep breath in together and we'll sigh it out. Breathing in, filling the belly, filling the chest, breathing in until we can't breathe in anymore. And we'll sigh it out together. Slowly bringing the hands to center, bowing the head forwards in gratitude for this time together. We'll slowly open our eyes and I'll say thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you'll come and join me again next time.